Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. Today I wanted to give you guys a little updated tour just on my living room though. Just because I feel like I've done more new things to my living room and you guys haven't seen this space in a while so I wanted to go around and show everything to you guys kind of like share where everything's from open up my cabinet right there and share some other stuff with you um, yeah I just want to go around and share it and right now we're getting close to the Sun setting so the vibes in here at around this time get super nice so why not chill and hang out before the sunset so yeah this is what it looks like right now you see how the mood is changing but yeah let's get into it um i want to share my plants i want to share some decor stuff that i have some new stuff but here's the little overview we have my front door here and then the little overview Okay, so let's start here, shall we? All right, so we have my front door, and then right here, this first decor piece I want to show you, because I don't know if I've ever shared it with you guys on here. But this one is a handmade item. The shop is called Gota Casa. I think it's so beautiful, and I love that it's handmade. Oh, and if there's anything that I share with you guys that you like, I'll have everything linked down below. And then right here, we have my little hooks that I put by myself. And then I have my keys. And then I just keep my everyday bag right here. And usually I'll have like a sweater hanging right there as well. And then down here, I just have my everyday shoes, but I'm waiting to get a basket to put right here and just put them in there so it looks a little bit nicer. Still waiting on that basket, but I have my Nikes for the gym. And then I have these sandals that are from Target. I love those. And then let's make our way over here because this is kind of like a little entryway, you could say. So as you guys know, I installed these curtains and it looks super cute, but obviously with these blinds, it's not that cute. Usually I'll keep them down like this, but usually during the weekend, I'll put the blinds up and it just looks like a lot cuter outside and everything and a lot more light comes in. Then I have this Euphoria cactus right here, which I got as a cutting from a neighbor. And then I have my Urban Outfitters bench. You guys know I love my bench. Over here I have a Sansevieria, which is a snake plant. And then this is one of my newest plants. This is my Bird of Paradise. It's pretty small. I really wanted like a huge one already, but all of them are super expensive. This one I got for like a discounted price from Lowe's or something. But we have a new leaf right here. And then this one is also about to unfurl. Hopefully it just keeps growing. I want it to be big. I was honestly just hoping to have like a big one right here. Maybe if I find another one for a good price, I'll buy it and just have two. This one's a little on the small side. It's definitely smaller than what I wanted and it's gonna take forever for it to get bigger. Okay, so let's move on to my mirror. You guys know I got this one from Amazon. It originally came in black and it had a gold option, but they were completely sold out. And then as I waited for them to restock, they never did. So I just went for it and I got it in black. So I just painted it myself with some rub and buff and it turned out pretty great. I have a video of that as well if you guys wanna see exactly what I used. Then I have some wall art from Urban Outfitters. I just love how simple it is. And then I have this one as well. I don't know if I've even showed you guys that much of these, but I really love them. I love that they're just the main focus on this wall right above the sofa. It looks pretty cute. And then these frames are also from Urban Outfitters. I purchased it so that they can be like just put together, like ready to go. So then over here, I have my money tree, which I was gifted. And it's really important to be gifted a money tree because it brings you good luck. So I love that I was gifted this. And this one was given by a plant shop and I'll have their information down below because I do have a discount code if you guys want to try to do some online plant shopping. And then this pot, I was also gifted by my friend who has a shop. So I love this pot. It looks super cute and like 
super trendy right now, like this style of pot. And it's super lightweight. It's not like heavy or anything. It looks super cute with any plant. So I have a peperomia here. This pot I got from Home Goods so long ago. Like this, I don't even know how long ago I got this, but I love it so much. I don't think I'll ever let go of it. It's just like, it's such a cute pot with plant stand that just, I don't think it'll ever go out of style. It's just super cute and simple. And then this basket I got from a friend on Instagram. She has a shop as well where she sells thrifted and vintage items. So she gave me this and some other stuff. And then in here, I just keep some hand sanitizer spray and some gum to like, before you walk out the door, or come back inside. And then this is another piece from that Etsy shop. And then I have a cactus right here, my very little TV. And then above the TV is my beautiful fan from Urban Outfitters. I swear if it weren't for this piece, then this wall would look so bare and it just, I think it makes the whole apartment look great and well put together. And then over here I have one of my new favorite decor pieces. This is from H&M. I believe this is the smaller size of their ceramic vase, but I want to get the larger one too. And then I, this piece unfortunately broke off from that one when I was trying to move some stuff. So since I couldn't put it back together, I just decided to make it another little piece here. I think it's just really cute. And then I have another cactus right here. And then over here I have my Monster Deliciosa. This is my smaller one compared to the one that I have in my dining nook. But it's actually grown so much since I first got it. This is actually one of my very first plants when I first started like getting into them, even like more seriously and stuff. It was such a little baby and now she's getting big. But yeah, love her, I love seeing her grow. And then here I just keep a battery operated string lights. So that way at night I just like turn them on and they look like, it looks all dreamy in here and cute, but it looks really nice at night. I just have like the lights going around the plant like that. And then it goes across the TV stand. And then also like right here on my money plant. Then over here I have a robot vacuum that I hardly ever use, but it just stays there. I was gifted this, so it's pretty cool, but I just need to try it some more. And then I have my tall Euphoria cactus here. Again, this was a clipping from a neighbor. So I went on OfferUp and I got this for free because there was somebody in the neighborhood that was, I think like moving or they had to like, for some reason, cut down a bunch of their cacti or something. And so they were giving a bunch of pieces for free. And so I got this one and that one and some other ones for my mom. Oh, and then this pot is from OMYSA. And then this pot and plant stand is from Woodgrown, which is on Etsy. So again, I'll have everything linked. Oh yeah. And then my rug, which I always get questions on. So this is from Revival. They used to be Revival rugs, but now it's just Revival because they sell other stuff. This rug and a lot of their other rugs are all like one of a kind, like handmade rugs. This one is a Turkish rug. Just knowing that there's no other rug like this, is pretty special. So I would definitely check them out if you wanna get like a nice vintage, original, one of a kind rug like this. And now if we make our way to the coffee table. So here's my coffee table, it's from West Elm. I love it, always get so many compliments. We just have some stuff, let me share. This is from my recent Vela box, which is a candle subscription that I have. This one is Earl Grey by Night Shift Wax Co. And then I just have some coasters here that I still have not opened. I just think that they look so nice because I have some other coasters that I keep in there. So I just like never open these for some reason. Um, and then I have a cute little cactus right here. And then this is a pot that my mom gave me a long time ago. As you can see, it just has some like cracks and stuff, but it's so cute. And the fact that my mom gave it to me just makes it a lot more special. And then in here, I just have some matches. Yeah, some matches. I got these from a cool Mexican shop in San Diego called Art Lexia. Really cute stuff they have there. And I have a smudge stick because of course you gotta get your smudge sticks. It's not a boho house without it. And then I have a Palo Santo stick as well. Oh, and then recently one of my close friends gave me this 
box of huge matches. They're so cool. Look at them. Really cute. Has like little butterflies because she knows I love them. So let me show you the books I have right here, the coffee table books. So I have this one at home in Joshua Tree, of course, because I love Joshua Tree. I love the desert. I've been in Joshua Tree so many times and I can't wait to stay at this specific Airbnb one day. It's my dream. But yeah, I love this book so much. It's really cute. I think it makes such a nice coffee table book. And yeah, there's that one. And then I have Wild at Home. Gotta represent my plant lovers. This is by Hilton Carter. And he just shares a bunch of cool tips for having indoor plants in your home. It's just awesome. It has some cool photos from his place. And yeah, he just has a bunch of cool tips. Another great coffee table book. Gonna get a lot more for sure because you can never have too many coffee table books. All right, and then I just leave it like that. Okay, now moving on to here, my sofa. So this sofa is from Apartment To Be. It's super comfy. It's called the Saxon Sofa and it's in the color cream. And these pillows are from H&M. They're like a velvet material. And they're also, I think the color is also cream or like tan or something or beige. Maybe it's beige. But yeah, I have those two. And then here's just like a look of it right there. This is the apartment sized one because the larger one would have been a little bit longer where honestly, it, maybe it would have fit, but I think that this size is perfect for me. And my favorite part about this sofa has to be the legs. They have like this really cute shape to them and it just looks like a little like vintage or something. But I don't know, I think it fits perfectly with my style. And then right here, I just keep this little stool from Urban Outfitters in case anybody else needs to sit or I can just put stuff on there. Um, you could already hear. Can you guys hear the cricket? It sounds like he's in here, but he's not. He's been chirping like the past hour or two. But anyways, okay. So look at how nice it's starting to look in here, you see? So this is the view from the dining nook. I love when it starts to get like this. Just the lighting looks so nice. Okay, so I wanna show you guys what's inside my TV stand. And this TV stand is from Target. And I love it so much. It fits everything perfectly. All right, so. Right here, I first keep all of my candles and I actually have to give some away to my family because I was running out of space and then there was obviously like some that um, I didn't really care for anymore, so I gifted some. And then down here, I just keep a bunch of other random things. So I keep my wick trimmer right here. I have this coconut, this coconut thing. Um, it's like, you could put like a little candle on the bottom. It like flickers really nicely. That one I got from Bali. And it just has like a cool carving on it. So on that little stand, you just put like a little candle. And I just have so many different candles because of my candle subscription box. A lot are like almost empty like this one. And then some are just like super new. Um, and barely like start using them and stuff. But yeah, I have a bunch of different ones. I have some from like small Etsy shops. Then down here, I have a bunch of incense. And then I have, this is for my singing bowl. I forgot to explain. This is my singing bowl and this is the little thingy. Let me do it for you guys actually. But yeah, let me show you. I got this from India. It's a singing bowl. I don't even know how many years ago, but um, anyway, so you just go like this. I'm probably not good at it or anything, but I just want to show you.
That's a little tune for you guys. But anyways, I love using this thing, it's really cute. Um, and then I have this little, um, what is it called? A little Polaroid camera or Polaroid um, little album. So there's just like some pictures of me and friends and it's really cute. And then I just have some like random little books and journals or something or things that friends have given me back there. I have an empty birthday candle. Of course, I keep some more smudge sticks in there because in case you run out, you need to have your extras. And then this cute little holder is from Ceremonia Shop. All right, moving on to the next one. So I actually cleaned this out, you guys, because before I had so much random stuff in here but now it's pretty empty i used to have like a bunch of extra like decor stuff in here but now i just have like some coasters these are the ones i use basically all the time um these are just from ikea and then i have these from ceremonia shop that i still haven't used i just love how it looks like this so i usually like if i'm not gonna use things yet i like to keep them how they originally look because i don't know i think it looks cute and then I have some games back there. I have Loteria, and then I have this other random party game called Who's Most Likely To? So that's fun. Then I have these really cheap candles. Um, I still haven't used them. I got these specifically for like the holiday season to get like a cute candle holder and stuff, but I never did. Um, anyways, I have some remotes here for my TV, my fire stick, and then this is the one for the vacuum. And then I have some like little postcards that I've been given. And then I keep some extra face masks right here. The box broke, so I just have to keep them in this little, the little baggie it came with. But I just have those to get ready so I can have them ready to go for when I need to walk out the door for the gym because for the gym, I just use these. And then for every day, I have like other ones in my purse. And then in here, I just have my um, my box for my camera because I don't really have space for it anywhere else. And then I just have like an extra extension cord. Back there, I have like a bag full of random like craft stuff that I don't really use. And then in here is just like a bunch of household things like I have a measuring tape I have some hooks I have random confetti for some reason um command strips a brush balloons that was for this was for like a holiday thing that I did and then some like coins and stuff and then back here then back there is where I keep my plant tarp for whenever I have to do some repotting this is just like space where it fits well then I have my drill right here along with this box that has a bunch of other random stuff so in here I just keep like batteries for the drill or for my other um, vacuum that I have and then just like a bunch of random other stuff then right here I just have an extra thing of the peel and stick tile that I used that one time for my kitchen I figured maybe I could use it for something else someday. And then right here, I just have some more random stuff. This I was supposed to give to my friend. I forgot to give it to her. Right here, I have more of those hooks in case I ever want to add some more somewhere. I have an extra picture frame. This is like some recipe cards from HelloFresh. And these I've been trying to get rid of. Yeah, I'm kind of just gathering things to either just give them to somebody or I can just donate it. And then I just have some other little random things and that's it for the cabinet. Oh yeah, and I also usually have this blanket that I got from Target right here on the couch just to be cozy. So this is usually what it looks like. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys everything a little bit more in depth, I guess, like show you guys everything and where I got everything because I know 
Um, usually people have some questions, so hopefully that helps. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, then let me know. Once again, if there's anything that you liked, then I'll have everything linked down below. And if I have any quotes for you guys, I'll also leave those down below. The sun is gonna start to set and it's gonna get all nice and cozy soon. So I'm gonna get some work done before it gets dark and then I'm gonna want to have dinner and hopefully try to chill a little bit for the evening. And I'm thinking about doing videos like this for my other spaces where I show you like inside cabinets or show you like every single thing that I have in the space. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. I'm thinking about doing my kitchen next so I can show you guys what's in my fridge, what's in my cabinet. Um, Cause obviously in the kitchen, it's gonna be a lot more stuff in there. And I kind of want to share with you guys some of like my organizational stuff. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in seeing my kitchen next and I'll make sure to do that soon, hopefully. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I think that's it. So thank you guys. I will see you next time.